Ever since Bernie Sanders' loss in Nevada, members of the Democratic establishment, media pundits, uh, Hillary Clinton supporters have all been calling for Bernie Sanders to exit the race. And ever since her victory on March 15th, well, calls have increased tenfold. Now, Bernie Sanders responded to these calls for him to drop out, and he basically called them absurd, and specifically he said, the bottom line is that when only half of the American people have participated in the political process, I think it is absurd for anybody to suggest that those people not have a right to cast a vote. To suggest we don't fight this out to the end would be, I think, a very bad mistake. People want to become engaged in the political process by having vigorous primary and caucus process. I think we open up the possibility of having a large voter turnout in November. That is exactly what we need. Now, seeing that Hillary Clinton tends to win big in states where turnout is low, this is what he had to say about that. A low voter turnout, somebody like Trump can win. High voter turnout, the Democratic candidate will win. So basically what he's trying to say is that if you have someone like Hillary Clinton go up against Trump in the general election, that's detrimental to the Democratic Party because nobody's excited about her. If you your candidate only wins when turnout is low, that's a really bad sign. If 33% or higher of uh, Bernie Sanders supporters won't support her in the general, that's a really bad sign. If it's the case that 85% of younger voters support Bernie Sanders and not her, that's a really, really bad sign. So to put up a candidate that's not exciting anyone, it's not a smart electoral strategy. Now, should he drop out? What do I think? I'm not even going to entertain that. See, it's still mathematically possible for him to win. Is it difficult? Yes, because on average, he needs to win by about 58% in the remaining states. However, if he wins big in a delegate-rich state, such as New York, well, then that percentage can probably drop and go down by quite a bit. It's all about closing that delegate lead. Now, even if it does become mathematically impossible... He should still stay in the race until the convention. Uh, now, if you disagree with that and you're a Hillary Clinton supporter, that's fine. But just know that you're a hypocrite because in 2008, long after it became mathematically impossible for Hillary Clinton to win against Obama, where'd she go? Nowhere. She stayed in the race until the very, very end. And that's what should happen to Bernie Sanders as well. He should stay in the race no matter what, because as long as he's there, He's having a positive influence on the Democratic Party. He's getting the progressive message out, even though they love to ignore it. He is influencing Hillary Clinton to stay progressive. See, the reason why Hillary Clinton would love for him to exit the race is because she just can't wait. She's itching to get to that general election because she's so tired of having to pretend to be a progressive anymore. She's tired of saying, I'm a progressive that likes to get things done. She hates saying that. She wants to be what she really is, a centrist, moderate Democrat. And that's fine. Like, you can you can be that. We, we know she's not fooling anybody, but because she has someone who's such a strong progressive challenger like Bernie Sanders, she has to play pretend, and she hates doing that. It's not her. So, no, I do not support this notion that Bernie Sanders should drop out. And if you think that we're giving up, you're crazy. There's still races to be won. Uh, there's still many states that haven't voted yet. I'm not going to give up until I cast my vote. That's bullshit. So you don't get to dictate whether or not the race is over before I even had a say. I don't think so. I'm going to continue to um, donate to Bernie Sanders' campaign and support him and his message. And I'll do that even long after this presidential election because I'm a true progressive. I don't want your corporatist, centrist, democratic, war hawk candidate that is Hillary Clinton. I don't want her. So if you think that I'm just going to give up when times get tough, you're wrong. I'm staying in this, Bernie's staying in this, we ain't going anywhere. So if you don't like us, if you want progressives to shut up, if you want Bernie Sanders to exit the race, tough shit. We're not going anywhere. And even when this Democratic primary season is over, and if Bernie Sanders doesn't become the Democratic nominee, that doesn't mean that we just go away. No, 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 no. We're still going to be holding the Democratic Party accountable. We're going to be just as loud, just as vocal as we ever were. So get used to us.